Welcome everybody to the Sweatshop Podcast. This is the one-stop shop for talk and shop. Ooh, got that mumble in there. This is me, your host, Sweats, and my co-host, the Maestro. Did you hear me fumbling and bumbling? Ooh, a stumbling, bumbling. Oh my goodness. But my goodness, we are back for another episode. How are you this week, sir? Dude, I am uh I'm doing all right. The weather is starting to change, so it's starting to get to that nice like spring weather that I think we're all, you know, looking for, hoping for. That kind of thing got some exciting news to share this week about mm-hmm. some HTW stuff. Mm-hmm. So, I figured I can wait till the end on that one. Okay, there's well. some really exciting news. Okay. When okay. it comes to some high tension wrestling stuff, but other than that, uh I'm doing Doing quite peachy over here. Mm. Uh, how are you doing? I am doing quite well. Um, speaking of peach, I did, I did um, promise that I would show you this shirt. Yes. And if anybody yes. knows that peach is from Georgia, and Georgia. Georgia is the home of the Atlanta Braves. Mm. Well, I got this shirt that you recommended me, and I have not opened this yet. This is <gasps> this is the first time I am even opening this shit. It's just been Ooh. sitting on my been sitting on my sofa or whatever, and I've just been like just looking at it, like I'm like <laughs> it's, not, it's not time yet. It's not mm. time yet. But I didn't know if time would be now. I didn't time know is John, now. Yeah, exactly. I didn't know John Cena was going to be here. Exactly. <laughs> we are doing it. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. Do the big reveal out oh. here. Oh, I love this. I love yeah. this so much. It's it's all these shirts uh, courtesy of Roosevelt. The Roosevelt. Out of, out of Hoboken. Been wearing oh, these shirts loud oh, and proud nice for years. Little, uh, I got a nice little... Uh, yeah, it comes in a nice little bag, right? Little bag. Yes. You got a little, you'll probably get a sticker in there. Probably Ooh, get a little sticker, sticker in there. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, no, it's blending in. Oh, shit. I'm going to get it. Okay. I got I'm it. A, oh, fuck me. All right. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so like these are, these are the these are the the trio, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's the, are, what do they call? Do they call them the big three? What do they call them? Yeah, the big three. Yeah. yeah. The big three right here. So we have Maddox, uh, Tommy Glavin, and and Schmoltz, right? Ooh, ooh. Damn, it's taking uh, everything away. Woo! Come back to me. Yeah. So I can't get too close, but yeah, yeah. it is super nice. Um, I'm gonna try it on. Ooh. A little later. Oh, You're all gone. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna try it a little later, but these are the boys right here that I grew up watching, and most Braves fans at my era in the millennial area ended up watching at some point in time, mm-hmm. especially the I guess the older millennials. Um yes, definitely the older millennials. Older millennials yeah, yeah, yeah. would would been watching this, these boys go to work. Uh because these boys were nasty. Um so I got these boys out here, Maddox being the best. Of all times, and you have Smoltz doing closer jobs later in his career, and then coming back, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And then Tommy Glavin out here just being his left handed self out here doing his yeah, best. They handed. had a they had a whole collection of uh MLB Hall of Famers that they came out with. What was that, maybe like a month ago or something like that? Yeah, and then uh, so there was a Ken Griffey Jr. one. So if uh-huh. anybody's a Ken Griffey Jr. fan, I highly recommend taking a look at that. There's also a Wade Boggs one, even with like it had like chicken and shit on it. Okay. okay, yeah. So I thought that was entertaining. Then I saw that one with the big three on there. I was like, I gotta send this. I gotta yeah. send this to Sweats. Just to, even if he doesn't buy it, yeah, I just yeah, gotta yeah. send it to him. So he looks at it. He goes, I immediately bought it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got it right away. I was like, no yeah. questions. Yeah, no. I was like, I gotta get that one. I'm, gonna, I'm definitely gonna wear it to either a game or like wherever. You know what I mean? Just you know, it's just like another little jersey to have. Wear something nice out. You know, and wear that to a game or like something else. Just even like a. Just chilling day. You can literally wear it to like anything. yeah, like yeah. it doesn't even have to be a game. You could go. You could be going, you could be going out on the weekend. Yeah, you could be chilling, whatever. You know, it's, def- it's definitely yeah. a talking point. You know that absolutely. Oh, <laughs> do I know? It's a talking yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or I guess, do we know? It's a talking <laughs> we, point. we got some stories. We got some stories, man. Ooh. Back in the day, now. Yeah. Oh gosh. <laughs> way, way back in the day. Way back in the day can't do that now no 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 we can't do that no more locked up <laughs> but back in the day like i'm talking about pre-pandemic out here facts though yeah. <laughs> Pre- pre-pandemic it was wild <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're doing the most out here in lancaster my god 
<laughs> I'm sure some of those stories. I'm sure some of those ended up in like the or the like the old version. You know, like oh, the yeah. original version of this thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For so, sure. Some of those pre pre pandemic episodes. I'm sure. Oh yeah, we probably it's probably in there somewhere. You go deep in the catalog. We might have talked about it. So yeah, if you go back like episode one, two, three, <laughs> yeah, maybe, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, right there. Little glory, yeah. Estefan. One, two, three, four. Come on, baby. There's some stories from seven. <laughs> yeah, I like that. No, yeah, the, Lancaster, the Lancaster Sound Machine. You know what yes, I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yeah, but I actually really like the the shirts are really nice. I remember you watched wearing those shirts, you know, like I said, like mad long ago. Like you've been wearing those things for mad long. I never really bought one until you showed me that 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 uh big three one. I said, let me go ahead and and grab that one. Well, I was gonna say either way before my time or before I realized it, I know they had a Ronald Acuna one, and I right. know you would have loved that one. Yeah, but that was I think that was a little bit before. Yeah, before my time and. Uh, in the in the game, so to speak, I got me a bat flipping uh, bobblehead of Ronald Cunha Jr. So okay, there you go. I'm, that's the next the next best thing. And he's got his mid. He's like mid bat flip with that shit in the air. Like ah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, he had the bat flip. <laughs> nice. All right, so let's get started. Like with our main topic, uh, let's get right into it. Let's get right into these. So last week we said like, well, we did the top. We did our favorite, our both, our like our top WrestleManias, our top mm -hmm. five WrestleManias. We did. Now we're gonna go the opposite way. Let's go ahead and let's talk about these worst WrestleManias of all time. Just our opinion this is our opinion, and nobody gonna get upset about opinions out here. I hope not. You know what I mean? This is our opinions. No rights are reserved or whatever the fuck this shit is. Like you know what I mean? Like yeah. well, I was just saying, if you and if you don't agree, let us know. Yeah, let, let us know. Let us know. We're Please always do. we're always down to talk about it. I'm sure there's something we can agree on, or maybe we'll just disagree. Yeah. Whatever. But yeah. like, you know, let us know. We love talking about this kind of stuff. We talk about no, for this, sure. this kind of stuff like all the time. And just to be fair, just to be real about it, like we have not had this. Like we have not had this conversation. I mean, we probably had the conversation a long time ago. Yeah, but, but like, nothing like. No, we haven't had this like officially. We didn't. We didn't. We didn't. We didn't go through all this shit beforehand. So we just out here figuring out like, what do you think? Like, and the rivers right. don't talk about it literally just like that, right? So, all right, let's get it started. All right, you go ahead and give your give you one of yours. I'm gonna go ahead and get one of mine. Let's see if I and then we'll I, switch and see if I agree with what like what you had in your top. Okay, well, I mean, I, I think I'm gonna start off with like probably the most obvious one, at okay. least in my opinion, the most yeah. obvious one I think is WrestleMania two. Yes, and this is no in particular order, guys. It's not like in a, no. This is not like number yeah. five worst, number one worst. Yeah. We're just we're just rapid fire. Bop, 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 bop. Yeah, here's really really bad WrestleManias, and yeah. this was a really this WrestleMania two. This is on my list. I just think it was like it's on my list. I don't think there was really anything that memorable about it. No, which is unfortunate because like you know the the like. I guess the only memorable things to come of it were the, you know, the Mr. T Roddy Piper boxing. Right. But that was just like terrible. And then, you know, the main event Hogan Bundy in a right. steel cage, which like, that was also just, it was probably one of the worst WrestleMania main events in right. like, history. Like it's just yeah, like, bad. and then the rest of the card across what the three cities, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like they tried to do WrestleMania across three cities yeah, it was. I'm gonna be honest with you. It just didn't work to me. If I had to rank this one, this would be my absolute worst. It's possible. if I had if I had to rank this one, I think this would be my absolute worst one. There's not a single good match on this card. No, like I, I other other than those two matches, I don't think I could tell. Oh well, I guess I the only thing I remember because I used to like George the Animal Steel a lot as a kid, so I remember Randy Savage. Yeah, George Steel. But other than that, it's like, ugh. yeah. Like not a whole lot is very memorable and or very good about no. that particular card. I know that's like a kind of a chalk answer, but I think we just had to get it out of the way. We just had yeah. to we just had to pull that band aid off mm -hmm. right away with rip uh, that one off because that's that's god awful with WrestleMania WrestleMania two. I just think yeah. All right, so this is also on my list, but we're gonna go go thirty years later. And it's a, such a shame because I you actually there, went right? to this WrestleMania. Mm -hmm. It is WrestleMania 32. 
Yeah, that was a bad one. That was this on is, my list. That was on my list also. Is it also on your list? That was also on my I list. I went to yes. this motherfucker. It yeah. is still bad. <laughs> like, it yeah. is not a good mania. It's bad. And it's bad considering we're in the era of good manias. Mm-hmm. We're in the era of good manias. And this just sticks out like part. a sore thumb. Yeah, for the most part. And it yeah. sticks out like a sore thumb is bad. You know what I mean? Like, it just sticks out. Like, this is not good. Not a no. fan. In fact, I'm... What was I mean? What was even? Wasn't that? Was that? Uh, was that the Roman Reigns Triple H? Yes, that was it. The only highlight I'm telling you, besides mm-hmm. Shane McMahon falling on this gigantic like, yeah, the Hell in the Cell, the right? Hell in the Cell. Thing. Is that what it was? Hell in the yeah, Cell. The, See, the, oh, cell. the fact that I can't even yeah. pull that off. That right, it's, it's the yeah. one where he jumped off, and then like when he hit, like it was like this big inflatable thing on the bottom of the mm-hmm. of the, the whole thing. Like I was like, come on. Like we out here, like we we trying to do daredevil shit, but you ain't really being a daredevil out here. You got this thing on the bottom, like yeah. you know what I mean. You're not Mick Foley. Chill out, like you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, it was not the same for me. Like I, the only fun part was like they were saying, "Please don't die," mm-hmm. as he was going up to the top of this shit. Like you know what I mean. It was just, it was not good. Yeah. I mean, the probably the best match on the card. I'm trying to think. I mean. Was it Charlotte and Sasha and Becky? Like, I mean, like that was probably the best match on the card. It wasn't a lot of good matches on this card, man. No, I mean, I think maybe the Intercontinental ladder match. Yeah, but even then, it was when like oh, the, that's right, won. the Zack Ryder one. That was the only that was really the biggest pop of the night. Honestly, yeah, it was like when he won that shit. I had that trash no holds bar fight. Oh, Brock was Buster so and Dean Ambrose, not good. like because I so mean, bad. clearly they weren't like really right. working with each other, right? Yeah. Not at all. Baron Corbin wins the right the Andre the Giant right Memorial Battle Royal, and that's where it like basically went downhill. Yep, from it there. Went downhill like, from there. Just, yeah, and the was, Rock. What's funny was the Rock. Remember the Rock was out for like a whole yeah. twenty five minutes. He was out there forever. Man, well, he he even had a match. He had a match and everything. John Cena came out. Everybody was like, it was like twenty five minutes of absolutely nothing. And no offense to the Rock, but like. And I, it was great seeing The Rock live and shit like that, you know. But, like, as far as the card goes, like, it's it's awkward to have that 25 minutes of just nothing yeah. happen. Well, I clearly it needed it. It did. Because I mean, they again, really didn't have that was the second biggest else. pop of the night. Besides Zack Ryder winning, it was The Rock coming out. Like, that's where they were in WrestleMania 32 for some reason. I don't know. Yeah. I, I don't get it. All right. What's all right? Where are you at? Ooh, all right. Well, um, I know you said on our last one that I think you like this one. Oh, I do. I personally don't find anything great about it at all. It's WrestleMania 11. Oh, yeah. It's not on my list, though. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. WrestleMania 11 is such trash. Yeah. It is. It is. But I know you, I know you like it. Oh, I do. <clears throat> because it's the first pay per view I ordered. Yeah. Well, that's why, like, I won't put any of the ones that have like sentimental value to me on this no, worst WrestleMania, even if they are like they are bad dog shit. Yeah, like you, I will not talk about WrestleMania nine. No, no, this is not it was the bad, list. but oh, yeah. I will not say it's a worst WrestleMania because I was entertained as hell. Yep, I was entertained as fuck. WrestleMania eleven didn't do it. Yeah, WrestleMania didn't eleven was WrestleMania eleven was the first WrestleMania I ordered on pay per view. That's fair. Yeah, absolute first one. Was it the first ordered... WrestleMania or the first ever? pay-per-view first pay-per-view ever ever okay was, was, so it's, was, see, okay um, yeah. that's 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 pretty special yeah yeah so it was the first one i ever like actually ordered begged for got it loved it because it's the first one and you don't know you're fucking i'm what am i Dude. what is it oh, i'm 11 because it's wrestlemania 11 i'm 11 yeah. years old like mm-hmm. you know what i mean so yeah i was like 11 i'm like this is the best this is not the first wrestling i've ever watched that was the first pay per view I got. Dude, mine mine was SummerSlam '96, so I oh, feel the perfect. same way. Exactly, exactly, perfect. Like there was yeah. not a whole lot great about that no. either. No, but I love it dearly. Yeah, well, no, actually, I, the, boil, the Boiler Room Brawl was pretty dope. But at, right that. after that, I I was in a succession of watching. I watched pretty much every pay per view after that. After that, and my yeah. first my first wrestling event was uh, Survivor Series '95. So mm-hmm. like you know what I mean like it was yeah. you going through that whole thing yeah. after that so yeah it's like a whole deal I mean I just I just think this this WrestleMania 11 was especially because like it the thing that was egregious to me even even back in the day was when 
you had Michael super kick Diesel and he kicks oh, out yeah. one. Oh yeah, one. It's terrible. It's terrible. And then you it's had Lawrence. Terrible. I mean, and that's not even the, that's not even the, that's not even the the main. Listen, I, I, they got they got Lawrence Taylor and Bam Bam at the end, which like at the time Lawrence the Taylor time, was like, yeah, it was like, oh crap, he actually like. It just doesn't it's age stuff. too well. I just felt so bad for Bam Bam. Me too. He had to carry his ass through that entire thing. And that Bret Hart Bob back. That's like the worst match Bret Hart ever had. Dude, I wish I could quit on that it match. Facts. It was the worst match he's <laughs> that was, ever done. That was how, that was that was it was that bad. Yeah. And it was just annoying as fuck. Like it was like, do you do you give up? Nah. Ah, mm-hmm. ah. It was just like a it was almost like a, a comedic a comedic match. It's supposed to be semi-serious and turning into a goddamn comedy. Yeah. And I was like, "Wait, this is not basically right. fighting for the contender to the championship." And this is what, this is what you get. The like, best you know. pop of the night was when Yokozuna came out. Mm-hmm. When yeah. Yoko, when Yoko, because he was surprised because yeah, like, he was the surprise partner. Yeah, yeah, everybody yeah. popped and they popped when they won. Like mm-hmm. they, that's like one of the first times you ever see the heels like actually get pops for when they win. Like yeah. they were like, "Oh shit, this is wild." Yeah. But, I mean, that was one of probably one of the worst Undertaker matches at a WrestleMania oh, too. With, God with Bundy. I don't think it was one of the worst. I think it was the worst. It, it, yeah, it's very possible. Very oh no, possible. wait, wait. I forget. No, I even like no lies. I like Gonzalez. I like John Gonzalez's match at WrestleMania not better than I like this one. But it's only for the selling. Oh. No, it's, yeah, it's just for the again. <laughs> Doesn't matter where he gets hit. Oh. He, you know, he oh. puts, puts a chloroform on. He comes back. He's still alive. I was like, you know, as again as a kid, I'm like, oh shit, this motherfucker can't die. It's crazy. <laughs> he chloroformed him. He's not <laughs> dead. He's not dead. <laughs> I love that shit. Yeah, that's, WrestleMania. That's, that's a valid place to be. WrestleMania 11. <laughs> yeah, it was not good. No. Um, I'm going to go back to uh, WrestleMania 4. That's on my list. Mm-hmm. WrestleMania 4 is fucking terrible to me. I don't know if it's on your list, but it is for sure on mine. It. You know what? I, I'll be honest. I didn't really think too far, but I was, it was in consideration. If okay. it's not on my list. Yeah. It's in consideration. Yeah. And I feel like that's part of the reason why Vince McMahon doesn't like tournaments is because how shitty this turned out. Well, I mean, there's a way to do tournaments. And this well, is not there this, is, a, this, this is not the way. <laughs> this is not the way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mandalorian, Mandalorian cannot be found here. This is not no, the way. This is not. <laughs> My God. No. The almost the, the, the I only thing that's memorable to me about this besides Randy Savage winning is when Bret Hart like broke the shit like broke the uh broke the trophy the trophy battle like, royal that's, trophy yeah. yeah that's it yeah but anything in between this i do not recall but i do recall macho man winning the title yeah. against because well, you i mean you had like it, like there were just like it, it was set up so that like macho man had to go through all these obstacles and, right like i understand that yeah but when you give people hogan andre and do the double DQ like that? Like, it's why a, even? A, why? 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 Yeah. I like, mean, you, you could have turned you know these. People are tuning in to watch that. So then you're going to give them a double DQ just because you want to protect them? Yeah. On you a WrestleMania? Had, you honestly could have had, like, Come on. you could have done that on, like, one of these, uh, the Saturday Night Main events, done that bullshit, double count out on the round ones, get the round ones over, mm-hmm. just do quarterfinals or even semifinal, semifinal, final. At, at Mania and give 20 minute matches instead of like these little weak ass DQs, these weak ass like two minute matches, three minute match, mm-hmm. two minute match. There was a double count out. There was a double, like, you know what I mean? It was, uh, yeah, one was uh, past the time limit, wasn't there? Like, I can't remember. Yeah, there was something weird about <sighs> one of them, like another one was. other than double DQ. Yeah, I don't, I just don't well, know. There I, was, I think there were a couple that were. Like by DQ, yeah, yeah. There's a lot so of DQ. Don Morocco, Dino Bravo, DQ, right? In like less than five minutes. Yeah. Uh, count out, one man gang, Bam Bam Bigelow. Count right. out, right? Right. Like, yeah, that's this is Rick Rude and Jake Rick Roberts. Rude, that's Rick the one. Rude, yep, Rick Rude, Jake Roberts. Draw. Battle to a then, draw. That screws that spot up. And yeah, then you got the double DQ with Andre and Hogan. Right, like, right. It's just one after the other after the yeah. other. And it's just no good. Too many well, DQs. The thing is, they didn't they didn't make up for it either. No, they didn't. You know what I mean, like, you know, uh, not to like pull the curtain back too far here, but um, if you ever go back to either IWTV or eventually our uh, HDW Network YouTube channel and see Pagodemonium, 
mm. you'll notice that the whole idea of Pagoda Monium was to try to have this tournament for the HTW Network television title. Right. And then it got messed up. Right. So much so that, like, the tournament was destroyed. But right. we ended up not continuing with the tournament. We just blew it up and then gave you something else with it. I'm not going to spoil right. what it was, but you know what I mean? So, right. like... The fact that they didn't even try to like make amends, they're just like, yeah, no, 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 no. Fuck the whole thing. It's we like, just no, want Randy good. Savage to wrestle three times. Yep. We don't really care what happens to the rest of it. And just yeah. basically like insulting everybody's intelligence with that. Yeah. No, it was, it was not great. It yeah. was not great. Even as a child, it's just it's not good. Yeah. All right. What's your uh what are you on four? Yeah. I guess what what is it? Uh, yeah, I guess like the third the third one we would. Yeah. Um, I I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go a little bit further ahead than four. I'm gonna go with the only one that doesn't have a Roman numeral slash number attached to it, other than the initial WrestleMania, and that's WrestleMania 2000. Oh, it's all. Oh yeah, that that was all. That was consideration. I didn't put it on the list. No, I put it on the list. But it's WrestleMania 2000, first of all, because that that always pissed me off. Yeah. Like, automatically to me, sure. the fact it was called WrestleMania 2000. Fair enough. And not WrestleMania 16. <laughs> like, we don't have a WrestleMania 16 because of this. I know. Like, and you can't, like, in, in nowhere does it even say, like, in parentheses, WrestleMania 16. It's WrestleMania 2000. I know. I hate it. They have one McMahon in every card. corner. Yep. Hate it. Yep. Hated the whole thing about yep. it. Yeah, it sucked. You had Mick Foley like retire and then come back. And then you had like it was just it was terrible. Mm -hmm. And then you like the only sort of redeeming thing from this show. I mean, it did have that the three way ladder match, which eventually leads us to TLC. Right. So like, okay, some redemption there. I like the concept, but I didn't love the matchup where it was the intercontinental and European triple threat. Yeah, that was interesting. Where, where it was two out of three falls, one pin got the European. Right. And the other I, one, I thought and it was nobody, nobody pinned. Yeah, yeah. Nobody pinned them. He yeah, like nobody pinned Kurt Angle. Kurt. Yeah. yeah. So they, like, Benoit pinned Jericho, and Jericho, Jericho pinned Benoit. And right. Kurt, like, I I just, it's an interesting concept, but I it was just, mm -mm. Like, yeah. like, really, that's how you're going to, that's how you're going to do it like that. Like, I just, I don't know. And then, you know, like, you know, as a, as a, you know, a preteen at this point, you know, seeing Terry and the cat in a cat fight, that yeah. was exciting for, it is exciting, a youngin, but that does not age well. It does not age well. And then when you have head cheese and TNA, yeah. like, yeah. and this is your WrestleMania, ladies yep, and gentlemen. This is your WrestleMania. Like, it's not good mm -mm. no like this is this was i think for the time this was unacceptable Un <laughs> like it was just, unacceptable. This is unacceptable so yep. wrestlemania 2000 you make my list yep yep you made the list yeah all right so let's go let's go back a little bit um <laughs> hold on where are we at Oh, where are you going? Where are we at? What are you doing? Okay, you ready for this one? All right, what WrestleMania twenty seven. That was one of was that one of the Rock? It was no, it was Miz. Was, that was, was Miz Cena, Cena, where he interfered. Yes. Okay. I. Cannot stand this WrestleMania, except for the Undertaker Triple H match. Okay. Right? So, mm -hmm. love that match. Everything else about this pay per view is not good. 27. Didn't they? Oh, okay. They called this the biggest WrestleMania ever. Was that what it, they called it? Is that what they called it? I think oh, so. Oh, shit. Yes, it was not. Yes, that's what they call at the time. Oh, this was Snooky. Yeah, this was the Snooky, yeah. the six, yeah. the mix six, the, yeah, mixed the mixed six Snooky yeah, match. Fuck that. All right, so the no holds barred Undertaker Triple H. 
Oh, you didn't like Michael Cole and Jerry Lawler? No, that wasn't. Actually, you know what's really funny about that match? It, it glitched. I think we watched it together. That shit glitched. Yeah, I think we it would, it would. Yeah, we watched this shit together. It glitched on TV. We were in Fox mm-hmm. and Hound, mm-hmm. and they did that shit was glitching like a motherfucker. So we didn't even watch that match. No. <laughs> No, yeah, it we was didn't probably, even watch it was that probably shit. For the better. Yeah, yeah this, this card is not great. No, it's not good, dude. Like, no. and I remember watching. It, I said, "This is not good." The only thing that saved it was Undertaker Triple H, mm-hmm. and it wasn't even as good. The Undertaker Triple H match wasn't even as good as the next year's Undertaker Triple H match. Right. right. <laughs> so, like, well, and they were and they were coming off of the two the back to back right Taker Shawn Michaels matches. Yeah. At 25 and 26. Yeah, this is what Undertaker started having. Oh, he had a little bit beforehand, but this is Undertaker starting to streak out some good ass fucking matches for a minute. Mm-hmm. Like he had a little minute of streaking out some well, good ass. Yeah, because he would just have this match and then rest for the entire year. Yeah. And then come back out at, at WrestleMania. WrestleMania have a fucking bomb ass match. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, this Snooky shit, this Miss John Cena wasn't good. Mm-mm. Michael Cole, Jerry Lawler speaks for himself. Randy Orton, <laughs> CM Punk, okay. Like, but this. Big Show, Kane, Santino, and Kofi. What the fuck? And they beat the core. The core, baby. The core. You kidding me? How many of those guys are still there? Exactly. They were the core. Well, I was to say Wade Barrett is uh, doing commentary on NXT now. That's about it. That is about it. And then Edge beating Alberto Del Rio, which I thought was a terrible fucking choice. So there we go. Like I just, I mean, he retired the next night. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, what are we doing? Yeah, fucking make some money out of that shit. It was bad. Mm-hmm. I was, uh, I don't know. I hated it. All right, are you on? Are you on five now? Or you have? I think it, yeah, I don't know. Well, I think no. I think this would be four. Is this four for you? Yeah, because because I think I said two. Uh huh. Eleven. Yep. A and two thousand were the ones 2000. that I said. Mm, okay. So. I think this would be the fourth one. Oh, I'm 32. Gonna... I said 32. Did you have 32 on your list? 32. Yeah, 32 made, made okay. it. Made the okay. cut. All right. Oh, okay. Yep. Oh, well, no. Well, then technically two because we shared two. I'm so confused. We shared two. I got a, I, listen, I got another one. All I right, go. One just, just, just fucking do it. I got another one I can throw out here. And yeah. it's it's only a couple years after that one. Uh-huh. 29. 29. I'm 29. Looking at 29. 29. So 29 was... I believe the second. It was not John, great. John Cena Rock. That's right. It's the number two. This was Triple H Brock Lesnar for Triple H's career that he won. Yeah, this he was won. Undertaker CM Punk. Right. This was Fandango beating Chris Jericho. Oh right. This was when this was uh, Mark Henry defeating Ryback. Talk about a barn burner. The Shield. And versus Randy Orton, Sheamus, Big Show. And then a world heavyweight title match for the ages. Alberto Del Rio versus Jack Swagger. Yeah. Yeah. That's a dope theme. It is a dope theme. It's a dope theme, but... It is a dope theme. <laughs> but it was wasted. Yeah, that should this, be a topic. Was... That should be a topic. Themes that were wasted, oh, dope that's... ass themes that oh, were wasted. There's a few. Ooh, ooh, there's there, a few. There's a few out there's there. A few. There's I mean, we can we can there. we can we can say that for another time. But yeah, we can. Yeah, there's a few out there. Oh my, yeah, this is not good. <laughs> Blah. Yeah, twenty nine. Twenty nine, no, twenty seven. No, thank you, man. They just went in and out on that shit. Mm-hmm. God damn. That's not good. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, okay. I see. Right. You, you got any more? I do, man. Like, let me go. Let me go back because WrestleMania Seven is straight trash. Yeah. Yeah, it's not great. WrestleMania Seven is straight ass trash. There are no good matches on this motherfucker. Uh, I mean, I didn't hate the Warrior Savage. Oh no, Warrior match. Savage. Excuse me, Warrior Savage was good. Yeah, Warrior other, Savage. Was good. Other than that, though. Yeah, Warrior Savage was good. It was pretty bad. 
it was bad. And you can put you can put uh Koji and Jin it doesn't matter. Like you can put whoever you want on there. It don't matter, man. Yeah. It doesn't matter. It was like Yeah, no, this one this one was not great. I mean, nasty boys beating the Heart Foundation for the tag titles. Yeah. Yeah. I mean that was that was a monumental moment for them. Mm-hmm. Everybody was shocked, I think. I remember watching it. They were like, oh, damn, they won. I, I didn't I didn't think the uh, the Rockers and uh Haku and Barbarian. Oh, that was good. That was a good opener. That was a decent opener. That was a good but, opener. And after that it just kinda Yeah. It just kinda tanked. Yeah, it did. It just, just wasn't good. Like then you had Savage Warrior, which was fine. Yep. And then just like a whole lot of nothing. The Mountie and Tito. Ugh. Virgil and that didn't, even, that, didn't even go, that didn't even go two minutes. That no. Monty and Tito, I know Legion of you know Ro- Road Warriors coming in, Legion of Doom, yeah, just squashing, squashing Hercules and Roma. That Absolutely. clocks in at 59 seconds, yep, squash matches, like earthquake, earthquake and Greg, Greg, yeah. yep, and you know it's a squash match, yeah, like a lot of these are just squashing it up, right? Makes no sense, yeah. All right, what's your what's another one? We, I mean, there's 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 plenty. Uh, I mean, I could do one more. I think. <laughs> you, you think you think you can do? One I think more? I, I think I could squeeze out one more. See, there. Okay, there's one I want to say. Okay, but I is it the one I'm thinking of? Maybe it could be. I don't okay. know. Okay, we we definitely shared this one. Okay, it's it's one that like, if you go back and watch it. Yeah. Like if I it, when I sat down to watch it again, yeah. I was like, "Oh man, this was not great." Yeah. But when I was there, ooh, when you were in, oh, it yes. was fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was 35. 35 was not great. It was hard to watch again. It was, yeah. I mean, again. But I also I also I think missed about two matches. Yeah. You I, definitely think did. I, I think I took a nap. You took a nap. I think we all took a nap at some point. Yeah. It was so long. It was so long. It was so long. Because I think really we was. were we were in the we were in the stadium, I think at what, four thirty or five? Yeah. yeah. And then we didn't leave our seats until what, eleven forty five? Yeah, this is the last one they did one full night. <laughs> yeah. Because they put the entire roster on one card. Yeah. Yeah. They put the entire roster they the, had. The thing with me, though, is like you look at this card, and if you don't know the results, you would think this was pretty solid. Yeah. Like, with, like just taking a look at the card, like to start off, Seth Rollins, Brock Lesnar. Sure. Okay. Which it was like that had a decent thing. Yep. AJ Styles, Randy Orton, another one. Then yep. you got Usos versus Aleister Black and Ricochet. Like, holy heck. That was yeah. a tag team at one point. Yep. Verse and Rusev and Nakamura and the bar. Yep. Seamus Cesaro. So like, holy moly. Again. Then you got Falls Count Anywhere, Shane and The Miz, which this is where I think I took a little... It fell off. Out. Yeah. This is where... I mean, this, was, this wasn't this even good. Then you had your women's tag title match. Also which not was, good. Yeah. It was okay. Then you had Kofi Mania. This good. was Kofi Mania. Great match. Yeah. It was great. Then you had Samoa Joe, Rey Mysterio, which yeah. was a bona fide squash match. Right. But on paper... Decent match, right? Sure. Unless you know otherwise. Right. Then you have Roman Reigns, Drew McIntyre. Yep. Okay. Damn, how then, many times did he beat Drew? That's fucked up. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> way, way back. Then you had Batista's last match. Oh, that was so And bad. then you had Kurt <laughs> Angle's last match. Boom, boom. Oh, right. right. right boom, boom. Yeah, that's right. Which, like, again, a lot of promise. Right. Not a whole, not a whole lot of delivery. Yeah. On that. Then you had Finn Balor beating Bobby Lashley. Mm-hmm. And then you had your main event with Becky yeah, Two Belts. Great. Honestly, it's not great. No, it, the car, like I just read off that card, and I'm like, oh my gosh, how was this so bad? Go you watch flip, it. You flip Go a few of those it. matches, it might be all right. And yeah. then you, you spread it out between two nights, it might be okay. If you, I think it would have been way more palatable if you did spread it out between. Like two if nights. you would have, in kept, fact, that's probably why they decided to do that. They could have done night two round of Rousey and all those dudes, and they could have had in night one with Kofi and Daniel Bryan. Nobody would have said a word. No, you my God, you end night one with, with the women's match, and then you yeah. end night two with Kofi. Could have, that could have changed the whole complexion. No, no, exactly. Nobody, nobody would have said a word about it. They would mm-hmm. be like, "Oh, this is great." Yeah, but I think because you packed everything into one night. Yeah, it was not good. It's it reminded me of like the early manias where they mm-hmm. just put everybody on the fucking car. Like they had. I mean, I know they tried to do that anyway, but like they 
I mean, they had but like, like they had more they have more twelve matches then. on the card. Like you know what yeah. I mean? But back then, those those people were doing like four or five minute matches. There were yeah. multiple matches in here that went twenty like fifteen twenty minutes. Right. No, like like, the like WrestleMania AJ five, Randy Orton sixteen minutes. WrestleMania five had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen matches. I believe. Mm-hmm. Or no. 14. Okay. Right? Yeah. And then, and then, uh, what's how many did this one have? 10, 11. This one had 12. 35 12. had 12 matches. Yeah. And it was it just, still like a full two hours long. Yeah. It just reminded me of that <laughs> like, shit. Yeah. It's insane. Yeah. And even these older, even these ones that went mad long, mm-hmm. like they only had one, two, three, oh, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Even WrestleMania 32. That sucked balls had nine matches. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah. It's just a lot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it just is. Yeah. It's like a lot. Yeah. Agreed. Too many. Too many matches. Just takes away from the whole, like, everybody's tired. Everybody's tired. I was Pretty tired much. as fuck, man. Yeah. I was tired in the middle. Took a nap. I was yeah. tired at the end. Yep. It was hell getting out of there. That's fair. There. Yeah, yeah that was that would be. I guess that would be the the next one I would throw in there. Yeah, that's fair. So I feel well, like that would be a tough watch. It is a tough watch. watch. Yeah, well, in that because that's. I mean, that's that's as bad as you can get. I'd still watch them all, but they're they're bad. Right. Yeah, you'd suffer through it. Maybe have so, a couple yeah. couple two three yeah, draw yeah, back. Yeah. You know. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. No, that's a, it's it's good to drink and watch some bullshit, <laughs> some terrible <laughs> fucking shit. Sometimes it is. <laughs> All right. Well, let's let's switch over. Let's let's cleanse the pout a little bit in a terrible way, I guess. <laughs> uh, we're going to talk about some current events, and we were just talking about gun violence out here, man. Mm-hmm. Specifically, mass shootings. But this wasn't even a mass shooting. And actually, a couple of the a couple more of these shits have happened, I guess, across the country. Like some random shit. Where like, well, this one kid, Ralph Yarl, just like a regular ass kid, right? Mm-hmm. Up to yeah, no what a 16, 16 year old kid, yeah. right? Uh, yeah. Up to no mischief, matter of fact. Like, knocks on the wrong door. Old man comes, shoots him a couple times, and then the kid's trying to run away, and this dude shoots him again. And he's trying to run away. Yeah. Apparently, he said some shit like, what the fuck did he say to him? I I'm, I don't know. He said he said this. Uh, this is what Ralph said. He, Ralph said he heard Mr. Lester, that's this guy's name, um, uh, don't come around here. Don't come around here. Like like some sort of racial type of shit because he's an old ass man, right? He's like, oh, his mm-hmm. black kids out at my door. I'm gonna go ahead and, and blast off on him, right? Mm-hmm. Saying no words. Like <laughs> that's he's but he's expected to recover. He's 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 not gonna die. Oh, good. Yeah, that he's not gonna good. die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's good. Uh, but Mr. Lester, who looks old as fuck, like that's an old ass man. He looks like clearly in his eighties. Mm-hmm. Like, ain't no doubt. He in his eighties. He looks old as fuck, and he looks. I don't know. It's it's just unfortunate. But then there's a girl who got shot. A cheerleader who tried to get into a car, but it looked like her car was the wrong car. You know how people do that sometimes, where they're like, mm-hmm. "Yeah, my car." She tried to open the door. It wasn't her car. And then the, they they said, "Oops, my fault." Saw somebody in there, went to her other car. The, the person followed her, shot her. Jesus. And I guess somebody else had, uh, uh, I can't remember. It just reminded me of the one, the the shit, like, a couple of years back. Remember that shit in Texas where they, except it's the opposite way, where the police officer went, thought she was in the wrong apartment. She was in the, she, mm. she was the wrong oh, thought of her yeah. apartment. Well, um... Is that Brianna Taylor? Is that what that was? Yeah, Brianna Taylor. Yeah. Oh no, no, no. It's not Brianna yeah. Taylor. No, 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 no. no something no, no. else. Yeah, no, it's not Brianna Taylor. It's it's something else. It's um, it, but anyway, um, she, like, she was a cop, and went to the wrong, wrong apartment. Thought it was hers. Mm-hmm. Saw somebody inside, and came in and shot him. Uh... It shot him dead. I think the other people survived. I think, but like, shot him dead. 
because Mike. they thought it was the wrong apartment. Yeah, she thought the person oh, who yeah. shot them thought it was the wrong apartment. Right, not, not the, the right. The lady. I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 The lady had her. It's like this is my apartment type shit, but she didn't say any words. She just mm-hmm. she just saw somebody. She shot. Mm-hmm. It was yeah, but she got right. She got she got jail time. Well, yeah, I mean she got I mean, she got jail time. Now, do I actually believe that she really didn't like realize that was him? Yes, I do. But um yeah. It's anyway, it's crazy. It's craziness. I just we we talk about this, you know. I know people feel some type of way. Like this is why this this is why some people can't have guns out here, man. <laughs> like that's it. Some people yeah. can't have guns out guns out here like that. You know, what? we don't we don't want to probably use these motherfuckers. Well, and it's all, well, I mean, too, you think of, um, you know, I don't know what anything, um, like if anything happens afterwards, like if they get taken away, you know what I mean? But yeah. like, you know, if you have a bad enough car accident, you get your license taken away. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah. like that kind of shit. Like, yeah, there are those consequences. Like, you know, it, it's it, not that I'm here to try to take away anything from anybody or whatever, right. but like, you know, if you're not responsible enough to handle these things, then maybe you shouldn't be able to have them. Like, right. literally treat them like a small child because, right. like, that's what should be happening with a lot of these situations. Like, if you use the, like, these are powerful tools. And if you use them irresponsibly, the there are, there are huge consequences for, you know, all people involved, not just the person who wields it, but right. you know, the people who are on the other end. And a lot of times it affects more so the people on the other end than the person who actually, you know, wields it. So it's just like, I don't, you know, again, this is a lot of, you, you hear way too many of these things. Right. And yet what, like nothing is being done to, change any of this stuff because you just continuously hear more and more about it i don't know if we're just hearing more about it because of how accessible all these all these stories are now yeah or if it really is just way more of them there than there used to be but either way it's not a, either way it's not a good thing you no, know what i mean like because there all. there should be little to none of these things yeah absolutely happening you Period. know what i mean like, you know, it's, it's one thing to like, have somebody come to your house that you don't know and be a little suspicious. Like, cool. Yeah. I understand that. Who the fuck are you? Right. Right. But like, you're that's your, place, that's bro. your first, that's your first thing you're going to do is first you're literally going to like, first shoot thing. somebody. Yeah, I'm like, hello, what are you doing? Like yeah. type of shit. Like, yeah. Like, uh, oh, is this so-and-so? Like, no, you got the wrong address. Oh, my bad. I'm so sorry. Correct. Then prop like, and then, then yeah. we're all good. <laughs> Like we're all okay. Nobody got you know shot I mean? today. Like, yeah, that's yeah. it, man. Like, like I just that. Yeah, I'm lost on that. Like, yeah. logic and, of and I know it's why that was the first part, reaction. Yeah, I know it's partially like race related in this instance. Again, sure. he's an old man, so he's he's reverting back to his KKK days. Like, you know, he's he's coming back to like, oh shit, like I got to yeah, start was, something out here. Different times. So, yeah, he's, you he's, know he's, when you see. That ha- like his Alzheimer's, was- Alzheimer's ass went back to when he was twenty five out here. He was like yeah. in his pickup back then and shit. Like he was out here with this bullshit, not realizing that this kid like is out here in the wrong place at the wrong time, type shit. But yeah, I mean it's just unfortunate. I just think you know they gotta they gotta figure some shit out about this because I mean again I don't have the power, you don't have the power, Mm-mm. like other people have the power, you know. And they, you know, luckily they they did charge him, you know, and they probably were reluctant to charge him because he's fucking eighty something years old. Like, well, yeah, because what's it really going to do? You yeah, know, he's then, he's you, then, you, here. then you, you you put him in jail for five for months. He's dead, right, probably. he's dead. Yeah, he's going to die. He's going to die regardless. Yeah, within his own time. So, like, I mean, sh- there should be consequences, and yeah. I, I I still think like if that's you know if that was a forty year old person or if that was a twenty year old person that did the same thing, right. I think that eighty year old man should be doing the same thing. It's I just, agree. You know what you like? You made that. That was a terrible choice you made. Yeah. You know, I know. I know some people that are you know in their eighties and nineties and stuff that still have a very sharp mind. Oh so no, I, I don't. This? So I don't think that's a a, a valid. You, have to, you would have you would have to give him some sort of test to see how right his mind actually yeah. is, right? Yeah. So I I would not. You know, I would not let that slide as as an excuse and be like, no, oh, well, they're old. It's okay. It's like no, 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 no. no. I know some. I know some. 
80, 90, even people mm-hmm. who are close to 100 that like have pretty sharp minds that are better than a lot of a lot of other people. So he like, just, asked, this, I, he just but, made a terrible decision. Yeah. Well, I just went to this conference, which I thought was it was <laughs> pretty interesting. Um, I went to the conference today, and they were talking about um, uh, ageism, like like so all the different generations, right? Mm-hmm. Like intelligence or something like that. And we had this whole thing about like what each generation <laughs> like it went, went through and shit and like how they are shaped and blah blah blah. You know what I mean? It was it was really interesting. Like and how they are, you know, it was just it was very, very interesting. Because uh, yeah, I mean, because everybody grows up in different times, you know. Right. Like, well, it's, it's, just, it's hard to it's hard to like right. adjust the older you get. It is because like it's just kind of how older people are. The, the, right. the world starts to kind of yeah shrink down and and right. they're just comfortable in what they know and yep they get comfortable they sure do but yeah um we'll keep you posted with the i mean some of this updating shit i don't really know what's going to happen to this i just you know i just started seeing it like a few days ago and i was like what happened and i just like what the fuck i know i I heard i heard about that the one you were saying yeah um and i was just like you know i was like oh great and uh Another one, right? Another one, right? Yeah. Exactly. It's crazy. Yeah. No, I, I don't. I don't know. It's just lots of shootings, lots of things. Like, oh, what's this? This one. Uh, a man who reportedly shot a six-year-old and her parents in North Carolina was arrested. Like, I mean, it's just like so much of this shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's so much of this. Well, and people it's just think they have much. like license to just kind of like do all this stuff too. Yeah. Like I don't, I don't know. But like, I mean, do they think like jail is not a real thing? Do they think like death penalty is not a real? I don't understand. Some yeah, some people think they're above the law. That's, That's what it wild. is. Like some people think, tr- some people truly think that they are above the law, or for the reason of whatever, like why they did what they did, has justification, and that they're not in the wrong. I, it's just another thing of like people not taking responsibility for anything anymore huh yeah Pretty much yeah like i don't know it just seems to be the culture that's what it seems to be anymore yeah i don't know well that is some of that some of that bullshit news hopefully we'll have some good news one yeah. week to share yeah yeah Ho- or ho- hopefully we like you know there's nothing that happens like this again that we have to yeah well you know what it is talk it's about like- it I know. Every fucking week, every fucking week, some bullshit. Can't even fucking control that shit. Yeah, it's crazy. Well, anyway, we got this AEW shit going on. We talked about NXT last time. We talked about AEW this time around. Um, I haven't, I haven't been watching AEW like that lately. I know way more about AEW than I do NXT right now. Just overall, overall scope and scheme and everything like that was happening. That's interesting. Because I am, I am, I, I mean, I'm starting myself to get caught back up with the AEW stuff. I'm still like maybe a week or a couple weeks behind a little bit. Cause like I just right now, it's a great time to be a wrestling fan, but it's also really hard to be a true wrestling fan and try to watch everything. No, you can't watch everything. I don't think um, they need, you can't, you can't do it every week. You got to, they like, need, they need a, you space um, it out or something. Well, I would like them to have a, like what the MLB does, like with their recaps, that's about six, seven minutes long, maybe t- ten minutes long. That's what yeah. I need for these all these motherfuckers to do. Well, WWE does that every week. Yeah, they do. But I need, I need it like just, I, I just need to be like, okay, this is what happened in ten minutes. Okay, great, thank you, appreciate well, it. So I get instead of everybody you. turning fucking heel or face every fucking flip of a hat. Yeah. How about how about not do that? That's ideal. But that's yeah, a, but that's how that's how this place works, motherfucker. I was like, who's heel now? Yeah. Who's face now? Yeah, AEW's only been open for like well, how long? A couple years. A couple years. Like for almost four years, maybe. Motherfucker, now. they turned a face and heel like the Big Show. I know Big Show's over there. I don't know. If well, I think that's why. <laughs> I don't know. If informing everybody. I think you should go heel now. I think you should go yeah. face now. I think you should go heel now. Kenny Omega's turned at least four times since yeah. he's been there. Well, and I think he's about to turn again. God damn. <laughs> Because there's that there's that whole the, oh, I was gonna say where I'm at as far as the Kenny Omega thing, and it could be progressed further than this since then. Because again, I think I'm like two weeks behind or something like that. Uh-huh. Is there's the whole Hangman Page getting back 
potentially right. with the elite yeah. kind of deal and yeah. like not necessarily away from the dark order, but sort of like, you know, like a, a, a revived Alliance type thing. But then, right. you know, Don Callis is sort of trying to prevent it and whatever. And like trying to keep the distance between. So like Omega's in the middle of it and blah, 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 blah. Like that was kind of a, a thing there. And then you got like, um, you know, um, I mean, I will say that one of the things I think they have going right right now is the fact that uh, they have MJF as the champion. Yeah, like I think that's I think that's a perfect thing because he's he's the hottest thing in that company right now. Right, and you always do want that face to chase the title. Right, and he's the perfect heel to to lead the ship. Mm -hmm. I think. And like, everybody wants to see him. Everybody wants to see him all the time because they do love him, but they also like, don't like him. You know what I mean? Like he is one of those like cool heels, but people still like to boo him. It's not like, you know, it's not like an Austin thing where people are cheering him and right. things of that nature. Like it, it is genuinely like people are booing him, but they enjoy booing him because right. he's so good. He's you know so what good I mean? It's it, one right? of those kind of things. Like Let him be, yeah. Like, just let him do his thing and let these other faces like the jungle boy and um, you know, Darby Allen and, and other people like that try to get at him. Or like, you know, when they had that Iron Man match with uh Brian Danielson, right. Which like, I don't know if you caught any of that. No, but it just uh, like, I, heard, I mean, I heard it was really good. Yeah. I mean, the, when they have their pay-per-views, the wrestling quality is, is, is solid. It's it's pretty solid, mm. but to get you there, it's I think it's a it's it's a big trial. Like well, these, like, and they're like, and they're they're talking about adding another show. I know. Like they're at they're adding another show on Saturday, and they're trying to like compete with WWE on how many shows. And it's just like at some point, there's going like some people just can't watch that many shows. You know what I mean? Like it just. Like, I don't know. Like you're, because now you're getting. If you, if AEW gets that, and they also have that all access show now. I don't know if you heard about that at all. It's like that reality show thing, bro. I don't know. They're like peeling back the curtain. I haven't watched it yet. Can I just watch? Can I? I mean, I'll just go watch back and watch the Elite or whatever the fucking shit is. Being the, being the Elite, yeah. I, I but just, that's like more comical. I think this is supposed I to just, be more. This is supposed to be like Total Divas, but cranked up to like eleven it's, because it's, it's everybody. Too many, it's not, too many fucking shows. That's bro. what I'm saying. There's there's like so too much, and I get like I get like the more content in this day and age, the more content, like you know, the more exposure, whatever, because content. But content is so readily available. But can't it's hard. Make, it's it's hard to have all these people watch it though. Just watch. Just do one thing very well. Like you don't need to do. That's the problem, because then you like you don't have to have dark and elevation because no, you like, don't. The only people who are watching that are the people who are either on it, you know, yeah. like the indie people watching their friends, yeah. or like people who just like yeah are literally have all the time in the hard, world. I mean, you got to be hardcore into it, and yeah. I just don't have that time to watch dark or elevation or. Rampage no, because there's the no there's no reason to kill there's no thing. yeah because there's no I reason to care about it. The fuck it is. Yeah. They're not giving us a reason to care about it. No. Unless like <clears throat> you know one of your favorite indie talents makes it on there, but even then you know they're not winning. Like they need the, to put this shit all on a, they need to put this shit all on a fucking mm -hmm. thing like on they don't have an AEW access channel. They need to fucking get that shit so they just throw that all that shit on there and if people want to go watch it they can because yeah. I, I can't I can't keep up. I can't keep up. I just know people are turning heel. I know people are turning face. I know that Dana Bryan is heel now. I know that like you know what I mean. I know that whole crew, well, the whole uh, Blackpool, Blackpool Combat Club. Club. Yeah, it's heel. all heel. Yeah, yeah. That I know that happened. Mm -hmm. Like you know what I mean. Like Kenny Omega's face again. Like they're all faces. Like they switched the roles a little bit. I don't know what's happening. Yeah. Like you know we're changing titles. Like we're like right titles. right now there's nothing. And, yeah. yeah, there's nothing to talk about except maybe like a match here or there. Like when yeah. um when um Vikingo and Omega had oh, that yeah, match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that was a match. Yeah. And it was on dynamite, but like 
But what, there's what, no st- there's like no story it. around nothing. It. Like just, oh, he lost. Okay, great. Other other than other than like going back to watch the match itself. Right. Like the way to grab people in to watch all these different programs is to give them something to care about. And right. Like unless people care about the specific wrestler because they're like a fan of them or whatever, they're I don't I think they're falling short on the like story stuff or right. like giving giving the audience any reason to care about these characters and where all of this progression is going to the next pay-per-view. You right. know what I mean? Other than like, here's a bunch of matches that should be really good, which they are. They're great matches. But sure. Like why, but like, why else? Like the only reason people are caring about certain acts, like I think the whole reason why the acclaimed is as over as they are is because they're entertaining. Right. It's not like they've been putting great stories. Right. You know what I mean? People are over, like, FTR's over because of their match quality. Right. There's no real stories that these people are, like, investing in them. And, like, there's a reason why the Gun Club hasn't, like, they were the tag champions for a minute. And then, a minute, and then they minute. weren't. And now, pe- like, there's still, like, no reason to, like, like, they're just kind of now going to be left by the wayside again. Because right. there's not, like, a story or anything to, like, you know, give us to care about them again or right you know it's just like that's just what it seems like it happens with a lot of this stuff <clears throat> and um right here they got jay white now that he signed yeah but like i mean and then they're like pushing the forbidden door two thing right which like again very cool if you're a like a total wrestling match nerd you get to sure. see all those other all those things it's a cool it's a cool event it's a cool thing yeah but like other than seeing the dream matchups, why does anybody care? Right. Why does anybody care? Like there's not there's not really story or a lot of character development or anything like that going on. There's very little. But other than that, it's just like, all right, these two cool these two would be cool in a match. Let's just have them like beef for a couple of weeks and then we'll put them on a pay per view. Right. I don't know, man. I really like it's almost like they're trying to do what New Japan does because New Japan doesn't really do a whole lot of story stuff, right? I mean, but for some reason, New Japan, like I don't know what it is about the New Japan wrestling that, like, you need to you need is, to ask Meltzer. Well, I don't know that. <laughs> well, but no, I mean, I'm talking about because I think like even without a whole lot of like story arcs and stuff, I still feel like the New Japan stuff is more intriguing than AEW like I don't know why I don't know why because like I feel like they're trying to do the same thing but I feel like New Japan's like here and AEW still like here right and I can't put my finger on why well I mean they got again it's not for lack of talent we know that so yeah oh yeah because I mean it, like the like I said the wrestling it's itself right. is fantastic you know, in fact, even on Dynamite, they're putting on these bangers. Like, I'll say Orange Cassidy's putting on bangers every time he defends that title. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? He gets, like, all the credit in the world for that. And, like, on every every Dynamite, there's a match that's, like, holy wow. Yeah. Great I mean, match. What, what are they doing with Orange Cassidy? Like, like where Right is now, he... he just keeps defending this international title. That's it. Yeah, Otherwise, like, there's no, like, story to it other than he just keeps having these title matches. Yeah, but that's pretty story. much all the stories is these. But the, the, there is so many titles right. to defend because you got all the Ring of Honor belts. So there's, like, four or five of those. Yep. Then you got the AEW belts. There's, like, six of those because you got the trios. You got the tag titles. You got the international championship. You got the TNT championship, TBS championship, the women's championship, the world championship. <gasps> Probably something else I'm missing. Probably. You know, um because you got all those championships, then all those Ring of Honor championships. Oh, I already mm-hmm. said the Ring of Honor. And then they like have have like oh, they, they, championships. Yeah, they got, they got the tri- like, they got the Triple, triple A. a. Yeah, yep. Triple they A championships in. on there. Yep. Sometimes they, I, they'll do like I, I, Impact, you know? yeah, 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 the yeah. Japan title. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Like yeah. every every week, I was like, oh, there's a new title. Like yeah. oh, <laughs> like it's a, every Dynamite. It's like we have four title matches. I'm like, Jesus, it's like a WWE pay per view. Yeah, every but it's every Dynamite. Every Dynamite. And that might be it. They're just over inundating people with all of these title matches. That like, if it's not a title match, why should in, we care? In my opinion, it's too much. So I mean, once 
I liked it when it was before when they just literally had like two fucking titles. Mm-hmm. Like I was cool with that. Like yeah. Because... And they're not doing anything exciting to talk about. Like there's yeah. no there's no like water cooler moments, I like yeah. to call it. I mean, I know that um, like you mentioned, like CM there might be rumors seeing punk coming back, oh, yeah. you know, trying to trying to do business. That's kind of what I'm... I got down here in the bottom to see if uh yeah. should uh should CM Punk return. Yeah. Um what do, you, what do you think? Well, I think I don't I don't want to see CM Punk in a ring again. That's, <laughs> that's my fair. opinion. That's fair. I don't understand the CM Punk hype. Everywhere he goes, he causes some bullshit. Like, I mean, regardless of whatever his mindset is, I don't know the behind the scenes shit. I just know he's out here saying shit he probably shouldn't be saying. Like, and doing shit he probably shouldn't be doing. Whether he means it or not, whatever the fucking, I don't know if he means well, I don't know him. I don't know CM Punk. I just yeah. know the motherfucker out here causing some shit. They guess they're getting in fights backstage. He gets that gets that pipe bomb mouth and you get that mouth or whatever, you know what yeah, I mean? Like, that you, pipe know. Bomb mouth, you keep talking out of here, like, and MM UFC or not, you got your ass kicked in UFC, bro. Like, there's some, there's some cats back there, probably you? fucked you up. Let me stop playing. Oh my god, guys. that Mike, that Mike Jackson. Do you see yeah. that fight that uh, where he fought that Mike Jackson? Dude? Oh, yeah, I did. Yeah, 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 dude. That Mike Jackson, it was like cat and mouse. Yeah, and CM Punk was a little mouse. Time. He yeah, played, he played with, with him, the he could have killed him. Yeah, he could have legitimately just like time. killed him. It was so funny. Ugh. Now, like, there's some guys in the back of that locker room who'll fuck him up. Like, it, it, he ain't he ain't on that level, man. He needs to calm down. Yeah, like he he really does. So yeah, I I agree. I mean, there's a lot of people that are clamoring for CM Punk's return, especially with them going uh, AEW going to Wembley Stadium. Yeah, for All Out or All In or something like yeah, that. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. One of the casino metaphors. Right. Right. Um, Dull or nothing. Is yeah. Right? Like like yeah. I guess he'll sell tickets. And if that's all you're caring about, yeah. But like, I, you know, beyond that, I I know a lot of people love CM Punk. I don't think when he did come back, I don't think his matches were that great. No, I never really thought. I I truly think, and this is not to say he's bad, but I do think CM Punk is probably the most overrated wrestler ever, like he, of all time. He absolutely overrated, he overrated. Absolutely. Like on the mic, fine, mm-hmm. great. In the ring, he's fine. Mm-hmm. Is he worth all of this bullshit? Absolutely no. not. This is some weird cult shit. Absolutely not. And I'm not about it. Yeah. Every time they started chanting CM Punk, I'm like, why? Yeah. Why are you chanting this well, dude? Man? You know, maybe he did some cool shit in Ring of Honor in 2001, right, or whatever. But like, we're in 2023. That's 22 years ago. You know what I mean? Like, as you get older, you're not necessarily getting better. Like, right. It just like. There's a time and a place, and there's a role to serve. You know, what I mean, if he's going to really be there to help the business, help their business specifically, and help the younger talent and do all that kind of stuff, then I think he should because I do think he has a lot of knowledge that he Absolutely. can pass on to those who are who are still like you know a little a little wet around the ears and right. all that kind of stuff. So I think it would be great for that, but it just it just doesn't seem like that's where he's at. Like yeah. based on hearing, you know what he was saying about the VPs and all that kind of stuff. Like it sounds like he thinks he should still be the top dog. Right. And all that kind of stuff, instead of taking on more of a, like Chris Jericho. Right. Like taking on that veteran role where, you know, Chris Jericho could still be at the top. Right. And he could make a case to be at the top the whole time. Mm -hmm. But instead he's taking all of these other people like orange Cassidy. Right. Like he totally, Yep. Elevated Orange Cassidy with that feud they had. Yep. Taking guys like Daniel Garcia. Yep. Taking guys like the you know the two point Taking other guys that he's had. That's all he's doing. Really he's with. Sammy he's Guevara. Taking, I mean, he's Jesus. taking these guys and he's bringing them up. Stars. He's That's making he's stars. To do. That's all he's MJF. To do yep. Yep. A little. I'll put. I'll, I'll put that a little bit of Cody, a little bit of fucking uh, Jericho, and mm-hmm. then MJF. Well, I mean, Jericho. It's Jericho now. I mean, right. Cody. Cody was doing that too. Right. Yeah. I mean, but I'm Cody just... Cody did it in a weird way, <laughs> but, oh, like, yeah, and that's and that's why he yeah, eventually like, left. Yeah. But like, but Jericho has been doing it the entire time. Yeah, no, yeah, and I like mean, that's reality. Mad fucking props to that. It just doesn't seem like that's where CM Punk wants to be, nor cares to be. So, like me personally, I think they're better off in a lot of ways without him, unless you're trying to bring him in as 
a draw to sell tickets, and then you'll get those certain people that give a shit. Well, for me, tickets. for me, it is. It reminds me of like that. You know, you got that great QB, right? You mm-hmm. got your, you got your Brett Favre, overrated, right? Great player, mm-hmm. all this shit. Doesn't want to be a backup though. Mm-hmm. Doesn't want to do business. He doesn't want to be a backup. So either he's a starter, or he's out the league. Brett Favre ain't backing back up nobody. So he's one of those guys. He's either a starter, or he's out the fucking league. Or even like a Cam Newton. Yeah, or a Cam. Cam and Cam still because you know Cam's man. not backing up anybody. No, he's not backing up nobody. He think he's still the man. He the man out here. Guess what? You are not. You still can't throw the ball. You still think you can throw the ball on time to people. You cannot. Yeah. Not when actual shit is going down. Yeah. Maybe when you're by yourself with the wide receivers, nobody's nobody's after you for real. Right. Like you can't decision make. You can't make plays. Like I mean, you weren't great at that to begin with. <laughs> <laughs> now you now you can't run like you used to, and you can't throw like you used to. My God, forget it. Yeah, your skill set does not age well. Like it just it just didn't age well. I mean, for CM Punk, he has his mouth. Like you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Luckily, luckily his mouth would get him very far. But like other than that, like the again, bell's got the bell rings at some point. Either either you're a humble backup, or you can be Joe Flacco. Still back up motherfuckers for your career and still do that. You know, what? and then and then you could come out and throw some bangers every now and again. Exactly. Listen, Joe exactly. Flacco might have one or two games of three three hundred yards and three Thank touchdowns. You. you go back and see him punk. Go ahead, fight for the for the uh like one of these little titles and shit. Go, go for ahead, the fight for the championship, championship, something like that. Throw some bangers, lose yeah. some matches, mm-hmm. it, build some motherfuckers up. Like, go have a feud. You know what I mean? That's it. Mm-hmm. Tag team, like do something out here, help somebody else out. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Be a Joe Flacco, you know what I'm saying? Be Joe Flacco. That's the Don't only time I'll Favre. ever talk. That's the only time I'll ever talk about Joe Flacco in the positive. Absolutely. Be Joe Flacco. Be Don't Joe be Joe Flacco. Because Joe Flacco out here still playing. He's in the league still. Mm-hmm. He's still making money. He's still making money in the league, play, being a backup. Because he was humble enough to say, "Hey, I can step up if somebody gets hurt. You know, if somebody, if you need me, I'll be here. Mm-hmm. But I'm comfortable. I'm good helping these young cats out, doing what I need to do. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I'm gonna go to the right place to be where I need to be. You know what I mean? That's it. Mm-hmm. It's not that hard. It's not that hard. But if you if you don't have that if you don't have the ego, it's not that hard. That's that's the problem. Right. <laughs> Dude, you need you need you just got all the ego and then some. Too much ego out here, man. Yeah. Just in general, fuck me. Yeah. All right. Well, that's enough of that shit. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. well, well. Listen, I we we'll probably need, revisit it at some. Point. We we need to come so. back. But like, what I like to do is like come through again and like. We watch them. We can come. I can come over. You can come over. Watch them AEW. Fuck around. There you go. And like catch up a little bit. Figure yeah. some shit out. Or maybe, uh, maybe well, I don't know when the next, uh, the next uh, pay per view is. Oh yeah. Like if it's if it's around a time that'll work, you know, yeah. something like that, and then do a little catch up work for that, or I don't know, something like yeah, that. Yeah, something like that. Because I know they're not coming through the Northeast anytime soon. They are not. They are nowhere near. <clears throat> I mean, which props to them? They're going, to, they're going around to other places other than you know the United States, hitting Canada. Oh, yeah, you got like it's a global, it's a cool global shit do that business. Yeah, yep, it's global out here. So you got to got to do what you got to do. Mm-hmm. They'll, I mean, they'll watch it. They love wrestling over your, overseas. They know oh, that. Yeah. They love yeah. wrestling. Yep. No, yeah, they don't, they don't really care who it is. They'll they watch don't anything. They will. They love them because I mean, they each each big company's got some of their people. You know. Yep. Period. <laughs> All right, let's let's segue over to MLB because we got the MLB life happening. It's true. We do got some MLB news and notes. Yeah, we do. We uh, do. I mean, I guess I mean we could start with the latest breaking news because as of maybe like what an hour or so before we started recording or whatever. Yeah. Uh, there was the news that Max Scherzer yep. has now been suspended for ten games. Because of that sticky substance that was found on his whatever glove, I think it was. Yeah, so it was a and glove. he was he was ejected in the game. Right. Um, I guess it was from Wednesday's game against the Dodgers. Right. And he was checked multiple times. So I guess I guess there's a time that you get checked, and there was actually a warning because I thought the rule was if you get checked and they find something, you're gone Warm. automatically. Like, so that's I thought not it the was. Case. I, well, no, because I get so here's the thing that I under 
I sort of understand here from this point of view. Right. Um, is that if it's just like, um, you know, cause obviously they get to use the rosin. Right. Right. For the grip. Yeah. So the umpire checks it. And if they believe it's just like too much rosin or something like that, uh -huh. that they'll just give the warning and say, go wash it off. Right. You know what I mean? Um, but if they're used on the glove or applied in an excessive manner, then that's, I guess that's where this whole suspension or ejection oh. has come from. Because obviously rosin is legal or else right. it would not be on the mound or in the dugout or whatever. So I guess they gave Scherz of the warning, say, go wash it off. Well, and I've never been a pitcher, so I didn't really know all this information, but I was watching some, you know, great MLB network analysis. Uh -huh. And um, I guess what happens is if you would wash your hands with like soap and water, because like uh -huh. if somebody's like, go wash it off, you'd think like, okay, they're going to go back, wash it's it off soap, soap and water. And water. But your fingers, if you wash your hands for a pitcher, that'll like, you know, when you're in water too long, you get right. pruny, right? Right. That's going to mess with your grip. So even right. if you wash your hands for a couple of minutes, like a right. couple of seconds or minutes to get the stuff off, that's going to affect your grip on the baseball. Okay. Even if you put rosin back on it. So I guess what Scherzer did was he washed it off with alcohol. But apparently the alcohol makes it worse. Makes it so worse. it makes it even stickier. So then they checked him again. Uh, and they found it was e and they found it was even we stickier. Were. They found it was even stickier, and so that's when they kicked him out. Yeah, because of that. So even if he was using just rosin, and then it was to, like the and it was like this, classes is what he needed to do. Well, I mean, that's what, like, and where I'm kind of lost though is, um, in like receiving the ten game suspension seems so stupid. but using but he only used <clears throat> rosin right but he just used too much rosin is not an illegal substance but alcohol is apparently well i don't know if there's any <laughs> rule that says <laughs> alcohol whatever but like but like to just even have that stickiness no, quote unquote that's... it was rosin you know what i, I mean can't. so like i can't <clears throat> like and he and he swore on his kid's life swore that on he used nothing he used nothing life. but sweat and rosin. If his right? kids drop dead tomorrow, goddamn! Oh, don't say that. I know, like you can't. I'm just like I'm just saying, goddamn. He's he's saying it. He's yeah. the one who said it. I swore on my kid's he life. He did, motherfucker. Which like, which like, I I I want to believe him because I mean, like I don't know why. Like I believe him. Like I do. Yeah. Like you know. But like, where where is that line then? Because you know who decides? Because you know, here's my pun, issue. Pardon the pun, but you're going to get into a sticky situation. They've if been you doing literally this. Literally decide. How long have they been doing this check shit? How long have they been doing this check shit? Like three years? Yeah, probably. Probably about about two, two, three. Uh, probably like three, four years, maybe. Yeah, maybe yeah. They've been doing yeah. the checking the fucking yeah. shit for a little while now, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's been several years. Like, right. it's not like this is new. Like the pitch clock. And he's pitched. Probably like close to ninety games in that time frame. Mm -hmm, probably, Something yeah. like that. Probably started about ninety games. I mean, then. enough games to not have this shit happen, right? So, like, that's kind of like my other side. Like, where? What did Max? We know you're sweaty. We know you're sweaty as fuck out there. We know you're grunting and shit like that. We know. We know all about you, Max. You too serious for your own good. Future like, Hall I, of Famer. Future Hall of Famer. Like we we know this. So I don't know why you were extra sticky or sweaty or whatever the fuck today with this rosin. Like, what happened with this rosin out here for you to be extra sticky, extra sweaty out here? What what is this, what has changed? Is yeah, it because the Mets now is a lot more pressure? You're playing with the Mets? Is that why? Maybe. Or like it's, or maybe because it was on the glove too? Because I, I don't think you're, you're I don't think you're allowed to have it on the glove. You can't have it on the glove, bro. You can't. So have I think it on the that glove. was part. I think that was had, part of the problem. Is he out here? He doing this shit with his fucking hand. And he putting that shit here. It reminded me of when uh what's that motherfucker's name? Ooh, who's that boy you had years ago? Start Pineda. Pineda. He had Pineda. that fucking Pineda. Pineda. He had it on his neck. His neck. It looked like, like Cody's tattoo. Oh god damn. Right up here. Yeah. <laughs> or no, it looked like the mole that the boogeyman ate off of Jillian <laughs> way back in the day. It looked like I, that big old mole right on the I neck. I said, bro, that's so obvious as fuck. That yeah. shit is obvious. They kept zooming in on that shit on the camera. Then eventually, the because well, he <laughs> thought he could get away with it. Because like they know. kept zooming in that shit on ESPN. They kept zooming in on that shit on ESPN, yeah. bro. And then yeah. finally, the umpires came over. They were like, 
They looked at that shit. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, man. What the fuck are you doing? I was like, this isn't And a, he's like, isn't what? I'm like, bro, you see, don't see this big ass gigantic thing on your motherfucking. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You better do some Craig Kimball shit. Uh, instead, put that shit right here. <laughs> he licked his fucking ease to lick his shit and like do this shit with the hat almost every time Craig Kimball mm-hmm. used to do. Yeah, that's why he sucks now because he can't. Well, do I was gonna say he can't do that anymore. That's probably he why. Yeah, yeah. He, he right can do. The, he can do. He could do this yeah, all he wants. All and it, you know, it's not gonna make a not gonna make a difference at this point. No, I mean, he but all this, he used to lick his hand and then put it right here. I don't know what the fuck he had here, but he's the biggest big ass stain Something right magical. fucking here. <laughs> big ass stain right there. And I said, "Oh my god!" Yeah, I'm watching the clip over and over again now. I'm watching. Buck argue with Scherzer and everything like yeah, right now. It too, yeah. Like they're like sitting here talking, like yelling at each other, <laughs> yeah. just looking at each other. Yeah. Like God. So damn. I guess the the question is, um, because I <sighs> I'm assuming if they find something that that's they where the end game they're not gonna hold, they're not comes gonna, from, they're not going to hold. They're not going to hold that. He's going to he's going to he's going to um, what you call it? That shit. Uh, what do you call it? Appeal. Yeah. They're going to appeal. He's gonna no, appeal. I think he did. Did he appeal it? And it's still ten. I believe so. I think that's what's. Ha- I think that's what happened because no. like they were good. Well, because if you, I think the rule is if you get kicked out of the game, it's a ten game suspension, and you can appeal it. But now I think it's official. Like it's Mister Official. Oh. He's, he's he is suspended. Okay. Well, damn. Like so, I guess here's what it said the league said in a statement: MLB reviewed re- relevant video and first person reports, including report from the umpire and crew. Despite having been warned early in the game, including being required to make an equipment change, um, Mr. Scherzer was found to be in violation of the foreign substance uh, pro- prohibitions of the baseball rules prior to the bottom of the fourth inning. Um, so I guess that's like the official statement of why they're saying the suspension upholds, because basically they gave him the warning to be like, yo, fix this. And he didn't fix it technically, even Man. though, like, how are you supposed to fix that if you're not going to wash your hands with, with soap and water? Because I, I, I guess the point I was trying to try to bring up before is how do you decide how much is too much rosin? Because if all he was using was rosin and sweat, and then the alcohol, because I guess the alcohol does make it worse; it makes it stickier. Well, how many people have been thrown out in the game for That's that? Shit. I mean, I can't. I honestly cannot think of. It hasn't been too often because people know that they're checking this shit every time. Well, I, I only know the <laughs> right. <laughs> like... well, so I know, um, I know. Uh, Herman of the Yankees got checked uh-huh. in his game that he had where he struck out like 11 dudes. Right. And they checked him and I know they were like a little skeptical, but it wasn't enough to be like, right. okay, you're out of the game. Right. It was just like, I think it might have just been like a little hefty on the the rosin or whatever. So I, that's where I'm kind of confused as to like, okay, if he only used rosin and it was like um you know, just the sweat and rosin and then the alcohol that made it worse. Cause I guess what they said was the initial check was, was like font, like, okay, just go wash it off. They right. checked it again and it was worse because Ooh. he used the alcohol. Yeah. So I think that was the problem was that when he went to wash his hands mm-hmm. with the alcohol, it actually yeah. made it worse. So if they're going to check you and it's worse, obviously you need to get thrown out of the game. Yeah, you get thrown out of the game. But if you're not using anything knowingly, unless that alcohol was you know considered the like illegal substance in this whole thing right um you know how do you how do you consider what is too much and i feel like there should be a protocol of okay if they get a warning and you you're asked to wash this off there should be a a set protocol of what they must do to wash their hands i mean i think that's the way to fix it you you can you can fix it that way i mean like I, you must wash your hands with soap and water, or you must do it this way. You can't just be like, okay, I'll wash it off with like, I'll go Vlad, uh, Vlad style, and wash it off with my urine. I don't think it, I, mean, I mean, I like don't that think it's that thing. big a deal. I don't think it's that big a deal, only because um, it just doesn't happen so often. It doesn't happen that often. Like you know, what I mean, it just doesn't happen often enough for it to me. I mean, maybe it, maybe it that's a thing this year, though. Maybe that's one of the the mo's this year. Not like from the right. empires, but whatever. It maybe that was I'm one elite. of the things of like maybe we need to crack down more so maybe. on these checks because I mean, maybe before it was like, all right, let's ease into it. Let's like just see what's going on and like get reports of like, hey, over the past couple of years, what are you noticing in these checks? Now all of a sudden this year they're like, okay, over the past couple of years we've seen X Y Z. 
we got to crack down on this and this. It could so be. now they might be doing more of that this year. I mean, or is Jersey feeling old, so you feel like I got to do some extra shit. Could be, could be. Well, but do you mean even even if you're hearing about other other dudes getting checked, like you know, Herman's not an old man. No. You know, what I mean, like he hasn't been around forever. Like that was, that was like a kind of a big thing. Getting he checked. didn't get tossed. Jersey got tossed. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Yeah, Scherzer sure been in the league for like 20 years. <laughs> yeah, Scherzer sure got tossed. Yeah, I just, I just don't know because I, it, you know, it, I think it'll be. We'll see as the season progresses if we see more and more of these cases come around. Because you yeah. know, too, in sports, every sport, these teams are looking to, or these teams or or athletes or whatever are looking to bend the rules as much as possible. Of course, you're gonna get that. Could, edge you could it could it be something where these athletes had been bending this rule and now now it's broken? You know what I mean? Like now is this is this the time where where it you can be. no longer bend this rule? And like Scherzer's been doing this for the past couple years. It could be whatever. And now like hey. this is this is it. You know, same thing. Like if we see more of these checks happening across the league and more guys yeah. are getting either ejected or they're uh-huh. getting the warnings to wash it off. Right. Could it be that they're finding like, oh, these guys found a loophole in the system. Right. You know, like right. where how you're not supposed to steal signs and not right. like get away signs, whatever, yeah. and like that kind of stuff. You know, it could be something like that as well. Yeah. I mean I, I don't know. But I guess like by the ruling he should be suspended just because like that's what they found. And if it was worse than the, like the first time they checked him, then like, even if he was using all legal substances by the ruling. Yeah. But if it was just using rosin and sweat or whatever, and he only like, if that was the only culprit other than like the alcohol, then they should say like, make the rule clearer from now on that like, you can't use that to wash your hands. Yeah, and then I think it, more people it, it, will know so that they don't get ejected or whatever after a warning. But I didn't think there was ever a warning, which it seems like now they are coming out with these warnings. I thought it was like, they, I thought it was, they find something you're done. Yeah. I mean, it makes it worse because there was a warning. There was for, a warning for, and he was told, go wash yeah, it off. You're good. Wash it off, yeah. They checked him again. It was worse. Yeah. So like, yeah, there's nothing. You gotta be thrown away. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, you, yeah. you gotta, you gotta as, get, you gotta get ejected. And you gotta serve it. As like, soon as you heard warning like, was, sorry. was done, I was like, oh, okay, yeah, that's, that's different. Yeah, that like, makes sorry. that makes things way different. Yeah, like sorry, dude. You just yeah. like it sucks. I'm sure you were playing by the rules the whole time, but like, if you didn't know that alcohol Maybe wouldn't make it Maybe worse, you, you know, okay, mistake, ten game mistake. Okay, that misses two starts for you. Okay. Sure, you know, has two different like, colored eyes. I don't trust him. So you know what I mean? <laughs> I'll just look like with two different colored eyes. Like, I'm not doing that shit. Well, if you see them both change to the same color, you'll know rosin's in one of them. Oh, fuck me. You already know. That's where the illegal substance is. Shit. Behind and blue eye. Fucking um <laughs> speaking of another veteran, I don't know if he's a Hall of Famer though. Um uh, I mean after this. Uh, <laughs> the bummy bums, bum gardener. He gone. Bumgarner got yeah. DFA'd, designated for assignment. That's what that means. Yeah. He got designated for an assignment, and that assignment is no fucking where. <laughs> He's not going yeah. AAA. I know that. <laughs> yeah, I don't even think it specified what his assignment was, and I'm sure he wasn't accepting that assignment. No, he ain't going nowhere. He yeah. going. He, like, I don't I think mean, he was like, you know what? Yeah, I'll go down to AA, or like I'll go to AAA and refine my skills. I think I they were. Matty Bumgarner's doing, man. I but mean, yeah. I I mean, I, I mean, he was about done, man. Like you know, I mean, so I guess at this point, his his career in Arizona is fifteen and thirty two, with a five point two three ERA. That's not good in sixty nine starts. You yeah, know, he's that's not good. Not good, and they gave him a what five year contract, five year eighty five million dollar contract. They ate. They ate. Thirty million dollars. Mm-hmm. I think it was, it. Uh, yeah, I think it was like thirty. Million. I think it was thirty-four million. Exactly. Yeah. Goodness gracious. Yep. Just ate that shit. They owe him. They owe him a little more than thirty-four million dollars on this contract. So, um, yeah. The- <laughs> Bro, his ERA straight up. No, he's not going to the Hall of Fame. Not with these numbers. I don't care. How many, I don't care how many World Series he won, and how clutch he was. This motherfucker. Yeah. I think no. he's. I think he's like a. I think he's like an Andy Pettit. He's he's worse than Andy. Well, I'm just saying, like, yeah, it's like a borderline. 
yeah. borderline Hall of Fame type dude, but came through in postseason. Man, his last three. Like, he fell off. Bro, like, you can't go from maybe he averaged. Looked like under, like, just, just looking at his eyeball in it. Looked like about a three ERA, probably a little under three. And then when he went to fucking Arizona, <laughs> shit ballooned up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I could do some just some straight you, up little math here and I figure that shit out. Now do you do you think it was the environment? What you mean the environment? Pitching's pitching. What you mean? Well, no, I like ballparks. You go to different ballparks. You mean, yeah. I mean Pac the Bell or, or like- AT Park, whatever the fuck it is now. That shit is that shit is uh big as fuck. So yeah. yeah. So if you're in a pitcher's park versus a hitter's park, because isn't Chase Field more like a hitter's park? I guess it's more of a hitter's park, yeah. Isn't it? Because like, don't they call that the humidor or whatever? Is that what this shit is? Like that? I thought it was. I thought Hold that was on, basically me, like the humidor. Chase, Chase Field's dimensions. I'm I mean, I don't know as far now. as I, I don't know as far as big like like how how big the outfield is or whatever. But I thought because of like the um like the metrics of the field. Uh, like not metrics, like no, you know, I know the size of it, but yeah, like, yeah, yeah, the actual like wind and the water and the yeah, heart, like that, that like bullshit. that, that plays an effect, like like you know who <laughs> whoever, whoever, that whoever pitches at like Fenway or like Yankee Stadium, those short porches in in uh, in yeah. uh, right field, you know what I mean? Like you know, if you that give was, that up, is it called AT and T Park or is it some other shit? Chase, now? what? Uh, no. Oh God, the. Oh, the San Francisco stadium? Yeah, yeah, yeah. San Francisco oh, Street. Jesus. Is it? Is it not at t Stadium oh, anymore? Oh. Oracle Park. Oracle. Thank you. I knew it was some other Oracle shit. Oracle Park. That's what it is. I forgot they changed that shit. It's not Rice I know that. <laughs> it's not right. No. <laughs> no. 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 Oracle San Park. Let's go treat. Bing. All right. What do I got over here? Oh, my God. It's been so many names. Yeah, I'll still probably call it Pac Bell Park for like ever. That's what I know it is. Yeah, Pac Bell. That's what I mean for sure. That's how I grew up. I don't know, man. But that's what I'm just wondering because, like, it, it seemed like a, a drastic drop off. Like, as soon as this dude went to Arizona, it was like the bed turned brown. Like, it was yeah. immediately just listen when not Buster, good when Buster Posey, one of the greatest catchers ever made in in history, and you you're not you know you, you're not throwing to him anymore. It changes things. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. I mean, but... bust, bust a bust out here. Like, mm-hmm. like, how many Hall of Famers are in that motherfucker? They went to like three or four World Series. They ain't like nobody in that motherfucker World in the Hall of Fame. Except no, Buster. Nobody... Buster going to go. Close. Yeah, he'll Buster, probably go. Buster going. But it's because there's not many catchers that do. There's not. But he won three World there's Series. A, there's, a, there's, a low bar, <laughs> there's a low bar for catchers. Like... There's a low no, there, bar. There is catchers. a low bar for catchers, but nobody else is going. No, from That's... from all of those squads, like the only okay. other memorable ones you can think of is like Matt Cain. Matt Cain, Tim That's Lincecum. What I mean. None of them are going to the Hall of Fame. No, none of them are going. And Tim won two Cy Youngs in a row or some shit. He's still yeah. not going. Yeah, like he was crazy. He was out of his mind for like three or four years, yeah, and, he and then just fell like fell off. But yeah, well, as soon as he went to a different team, fell off. He that's what I'm. That's what I'm wondering. The Giants always have like these these pitchers. It's like the Rays. The Rays come up with pitching out of nowhere, out of nowhere. The Pirates come out of, come up, come up with pitching out mm. of nowhere. Then sometimes you take those dudes to other places and they just fall off. Chris Archer. Yeah. Like what happened? Chris, David, oh, David Price. What happened? I don't know. Like I feel like the Giants have that same kind of mojo. It's like Mad Bum. I really gotta go. I gotta deep dive in those shits. I know we're going off the, the reservation yeah. with this. Well, I mean, yeah, so I, mean. I just off like a quick little glance, it looks like it looks like with the Giants, he won three World Series, went 119 and 92 with a 3.13 ERA. Mm. And then he goes to the Diamondbacks and goes 15 and 32 with a 5.23. I couldn't even whistle. There it is. <laughs> I couldn't even do it. <laughs> you couldn't you couldn't whistle like Mad Bum Pam Pitch. <laughs> I can do that shit. Yeah. Oh my god. That's yeah. a damn mess. I mean, yeah. So it's just, um, I it's just so. I mean, he'll probably get picked up somewhere this year. I can't imagine this is it for him this year. Mm. 
Like they had Brandon Belt, Brandon Belt not going to Hall of Fame. Like Brandon Belt barely living out here. No. Brandon Crawford not going to Hall of Fame. No. Pablo Sandoval not going to Hall of Fame. Oh, come Angel, to train, though. Angel Pagan, remember him? Oh, I do remember him. Yeah. He's not going to the Hall of Fame. No, no. Hunter Pence not going to the Hall of Fame. <laughs> None mm-hmm. of these guys go to the Hall of Fame, man. No. Barry Zito not going to the Hall of Fame. No, we thought right. at one point he might. Oh, oh no, he was on. He was on his way. That whole trio. They had a little. They had a little squad over there. They had uh, Hudson, mm-hmm. um, Barry Zito, and who Matt the fuck? Cain, I think was a part of that too. No, that no motherfucker was not. I think he was. No, it wasn't him. It was for, for Oakland. Oakland. Oh, what well, you're talking about? Oakland. Oh, yeah. Mark Mulder. Mark Mulder, thank you. Yeah, Mul- and then and then a little bit after that, you had uh oh my god, what's the, what's the dude's name? Ah, black hair, Hudson, Dan Hudson, Danny Hudson, Hudson Henson, Hudson. Oh god, oh my god, that's gonna bother me now. Not Tim. Well, there's Tim Hudson. No, I'm not talking about Tim Hudson. There's I'm talking Tim. about like li- he, was, he, was, he was like a back ender. Was on he? That he yeah, hit, oh he hit it from the back. Oh. <laughs> god, I can't remember it. Dan, Dude, there's it, nobody on it's this Dan spot something. Right now. Dude, that shit is wild to me. Who was that? He's pitcher. He went to the Diamondbacks too. Did he? Oh, it yeah. had to have been Hudson then. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's either Hudson or Hanson or something like that. Yeah. Dan Dan Hanson or Dan. It was something like that. I don't know. I don't there's, there's too many Hanson Hudson. Barry Zito, come to me. Tell me. But yeah, Tell it was Barry all. Zito, Mark Mulder. Yeah. Uh, Tim Hudson on that. Yeah. He was in on that. Yeah. And the boys out here. Yeah. They had, they had a squad. All right, here they are. Hold on. Who the fuck is on that motherfucker here? Barry Zito, Tim Hudson, Mark Mulder. Wait. Wait, that's next year. Let's go to the next year. (laughs) 2003 season. Oh, God. We're going way far back. Yeah, I mean, that's where the fuck they were. That's when they were there. Ted Lilly. They had Ted Lilly. Oh, my God. Remember Ted Lilly? Oh, my God. Ted Lilly. What a name. I know. Rich Harden. Oh, Rich Harden was part of that. That's right. I forgot Rich Harden. He was still, he's still like a little, I mean, that was like way back in the day. I mean, this is 04. It's like forever ago. And this is, and then he had left by then. Yeah, it was Rich Harden. Because he had left by then, um, Tim Hudson, like the next year, because he went to uh, Atlanta, like not too far after this shit. Okay. But anyway. Yeah, fair enough. So, where do you think he goes? You think you have a guess of to where Mad Bum goes? You think Dan, anybody's going to pick Dan up that thirty-four Heron. million? Dan Heron, that's your dude. Heron, yes, Dan that's him. Dan Heron, yes, that's your man. That's him, Dan that's Heron. Your man, but all those boys had left since then. At that mm-hmm. point, fair what were you saying? Where's where Bobby go? Yeah, where do you think he goes? Who do you think is going to pick up that thirty-four million? Well, nobody. He's 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 he. he what this, what's going to happen is he's. Well, you know, you know, I guess you know what I mean. Not pick up three, the forty-four yeah, million. Yeah, yeah. No, who's going to pick him up? Who's going to pick? Oh, Hudson Houston Street. God damn. All right. Anyway, uh, I just saw Houston Street's name. I Keith Folk. Like, damn. God damn. Um, uh, I don't know, man. Like, I think. I mean, somebody's gonna pick him up because I mean they gotta they gotta figure out if he's still worth some shit or not. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you can get is, him on the cheap, yeah, get him on the cheap. No lose situation. If he's if he doesn't pan out, you release him. No big deal. You're not eating thirty four million, just eating like probably like five hundred thousand. Like mm-hmm. that's different. <laughs> Teams are more willing to lose about five hundred grand than thirty four million. Mm-hmm. So, oh yeah. I mean, it just depends. A team that needs that that probably that fifth starter probably needs that fifth. Maybe needs somebody on the bullpen. I don't know. I I could see a contender like a early contender taking a shot at him. Yeah, absolutely. It has to be a contender, but it has to be like a content. Like I said, it needs that just that missing piece. It might not even be right away. It might be like mid like year, and they might give him a call. Ooh, Maybe like, I hey, I, see if you let him wait till mid year, I don't know about that. No. I think, I think, I think, quick. I think you either got to pick him up right away or he's not. You don't, you don't think he'll pick up the phone for somebody? Be like, if, if like, uh, if the Yankees call and be like, hey, but I think that's going to be a right away thing because right now, Yankees are hurting them on yeah. starting pitching. They won't, they won't wait for the head hurt now. See, they're I'd just be them. like, hey, like, hey, you really, you willing to come through? And he'd be like, yeah, I'll come through. You know what I mean? Like or, the thing or is not. if he gets out of shape, that's the thing. 
if he gets out of if he gets out of shape, like if he waits too long, sure. he doesn't he doesn't seem like a guy to me that's gonna, you know, stick around and, and, and keep working out. Right. I think he's he's just gonna sit at home. Like he doesn't he doesn't strike me as that guy that's gonna keep himself in shape while he's, you know not picked up by somebody. Yeah. But I feel like, I feel like his track record is good enough that a contender will take a shot at him. Like I could even see him going to like a, um, you know, like actually something that'd be interesting. If you go to the Orioles, I could see the it's Orioles where pitching. I mean, it's usually where pitching goes to die, but like, that's, that is but the pitching. Orioles have a nice little squad there. They if they get, nice get another, squad, if they get another veteran presence there in the rotation that, like that, that, that looks like a catcher, bro. <laughs> Yeah, I, Rutschman. I, I got him. I mean, between head Rutschman head. and Mateo, and yeah. you know, they got they got some good players on that. They squad. do. You no, know, they they got a good squad. They yeah. do have a good squad. They're on they're on the up. They're on the, as long as they don't do some stupid shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I, <laughs> and I think I think Bumgarner will be motivated after this to go help. Yeah. A place win a World Series or you know win get in the playoffs and stuff. So I would say some I mean, kind of fringe contender like that. I, mean, like, like, I can see Yankees, I think, like the Orioles. Heck, Arizona's not struggling right now. No, Arizona out here doing okay. No, but I think I think I think he and Arizona don't agree. No, Obviously, they, after they getting DFA, yeah, I think yeah, I think yeah, agree. Yeah, I think there's I think there's definitely some uh, behind the curtain struggles. Arizona ain't no scrubbing out here. Why. Yeah, I mean, go back to the go back to the Giants. Could go back to the Giants. Giants are struggling. My God, I'm yeah. just looking at these early. I'm looking at these early shits. Yuck. Even the Dodgers are below 500? Mm-hmm. Yuck. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Like a Milwaukee? That could be a fun place for him to go. Could be. Or the Cubs? That could be a fun place. Like, Cubs are, like, kind of on the up and up here. Yep, they're doing okay. Dan's Bay. I mean, Phillies could shell out the money. They could probably use somebody. Phillies I could mean, use somebody like that. Phillies need some people. They are struggling right now. I think that mm-hmm. rotation is struggling big time. They are struggling right because now. Right so. now, Nola's not Nola. Nope. You know, that kind of thing. So Zach, Zach Wheeler not doing this Mm-mm. too hot right now. I mean, yeah. They're struggling right now. Something like that. You know, a team like that. Or um yeah, I could see I could see him going to like an East an East team. I could see yeah. him going to like a Yankees or Orioles. Mm-hmm. Heck, even Red Sox might w- might be willing to take a sh- shot on him. Yeah. Um because like really the AL East, everybody's at or above five hundred. I mean that shit is that shit is going to be like it's it's that's a gonna be, fucking that's that's gonna be a, tighter than a cat's butthole. No here. shit, that's crazy. All these motherfuckers gonna make the playoffs gonna be stupid as fuck. Like it doesn't make any sense. It'll, it'll be like one wins the division, and then the other four are fighting for the wild card spot. Literally, that. and then everybody else just has to win the division, or else yep. they're out. Yeah. Yep. Because I mean that's the way it's, it's turned out. Yeah, AL East is stacked this year. It's stacked out like this, yeah. Yeah, we out here just sitting on top alone with like the Mets, and that's probably about it. Yeah, like over and over. And you know, and you know, the Mets are due. Yeah, the Mets are due for that collapse. Yeah, I'm. I don't like the way we started out too hot though. I don't like all that shit. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, I mean, eventually you'll come back, but yeah, I just don't like it because we don't. We're not even good yet. Like (laughs) motherfuckers are hurt. Like, like you know what I mean? Motherfuckers are hurt. We still out here killing. We got Soroka coming back. He in Triple A with a 132 ERA. Soroka looking like Soroka again. I'm like, oh shit! Don't make, don't do this to me. Don't come back over here, try to be Soroka and get hurt again. Like, because Soroka when he came in before, he was out here. He was better. He was better than Freed. He's better than all those motherfuckers. Like, <laughs> he's better than all them cats. So I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready for Soroka to come back. If he, if he comes that's back, fair. if he comes back in in good form too. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like he was better. He was better than all those guys. Freed wasn't even Freed yet. Like he was better than all those motherfuckers. So I need, I need to see him. Back, he's younger than Freed by like a couple of years. I need Soroka, Mike Soroka. Mike Soroka. Oh man, yeah, but uh, I see y'all, y'all still in good form. Y'all, you know, y'all just y'all tight in the race because fucking yeah, uh, just, we just took two or three from the Angels, yeah, all, yeah, good, so all look- good in the hood yeah. there. Yeah. I mean, we're still behind the Rays, but they're starting. I think they're starting to come back down to earth now. Well, I knew they're going to lose like ridiculous start. Well, I knew they're going to lose to the Blue Jays. I said, yeah. "Who just go take take two of them from mm-hmm. them?" Because I mean, they ain't play anybody yet. Honestly, like right. Tampa didn't play anybody yet. So, no. like, and that's that's not to no, take once away you start once you start playing in the East. Then yeah, you're, yeah, it's not to take away from the streak. I mean, 
You know, know what I mean? It's hard as it's, it's hard, hard to as everything win every that. game. Like yeah. I mean, it's hard to win every game. So not to take away the streak, but you play Detroit, Washington, Oakland, and Boston. All of those teams, I think, are either near or at the bottom. Literally the bottom of the bottom. Yeah. And they it's not yes, they made them at the bottom. They helped with their bottomness, but yeah. they were always going to be bad this year. Right. Yeah. Let's not get it twisted. At least so, they're taking care of business. I mean, that's yeah, what you want to see out of this team. You so. do. But yeah. as soon as they play Toronto, I said, eh. Yeah, they're going to run into a buzzsaw. Yeah, they're going to lose. And they did. They lost a couple games. And they lost to Cincinnati once. So, like, you know, mm-hmm. it is what it is. That's but they, they still look good. Don't get it twisted. They still out here look like killing somebody. Yeah. However, like. it's a it's a it's That's a sneaky one. That's yeah. a sneaky team right there. It is a sneaky team. Will they finally go get over that hump? Will they finally when it's playoff time, I hope will not. they do something in the playoffs? Like, no, honestly, I hope not. Because where are they at right now? We don't know. Yeah. We don't know. That's a yeah. that's a team to keep an eye on. And they're, they look like they're fun to watch as well. Yeah, so, very like, much so. Like, and you can't say that for a lot of Tampa Bay Ray teams in the back, in the past. So, <laughs> no, no. no, not at all. No, they, they're, they look like they're fun to watch. So, that's, that's always good. Um, yeah, that's it for this week, man. Yeah, a lot of that's stuff going on this week. week. Yeah, that's, that's that's pretty much it. But I'd like to before we kind of get it, wrap it all up, man. I know you got a little something, something. Ooh. Oh, I do. Popping up, I do. In okay. fact, I'm, I've been working on um, uh, something in relation to this event because I, you know, you know, you gotta for something like this. Uh, you got to get some kind of a proposal together, so to speak. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Okay. So, uh, but what I can now say officially is that High Tension Wrestling will be returning to Reading, Pennsylvania to have an event that is, oh, oh, that didn't show up very well. But you can oh. see the information at the bottom. It is the HTW Presents King Crabs Enchantment Under the Sea Prom. So Ooh. we're going to prom, baby. Prom is on Saturday, June 10th. You can see on the uh, boop, boop poster right here if you're doing the visual thing. But Saturday, June 10th at the Riverside Beneficial in Reading, Pennsylvania. Uh, we are we are having a prom wrestling event. It's the prom you always wanted. It's the prom you always needed. Hmm. Ooh, I got another graphic there. So I got to find somebody to go to prom with me. And I have the person in mind that I know I'm going to ask Ooh. to go with me to prom. Oh. And, you know, unfortunately it is, you know, as much as I'd love to, it, it will not be you, my friend. Oh. I'm sorry. God you damn. were, you were still invited to prom, oh. obviously. Oh, good. So you are more than welcome. In fact, you can work on a prom proposal, but mm. I'm working on my prom proposal at the moment to go with, with my special lady. Okay. So I've got to work on that prom proposal oh, yeah. myself. Oh my goodness. Right there. They do um, prom proposals different these days. Oh, man. way different. God. I, if I just to, like, hey, if I put something prom? together like that for my prom. Okay. Like that's all I did. I didn't have to fucking do all this crazy shit for a girl to go to prom with me. Yeah. I just asked. Yeah. I just, I just asked. I didn't I put, you know, put any video first? together, nope. see, but see, don't give any ideas. Cause now all of a sudden now she's going to be like, did you make a video? Did oh, you do shit. this? Did you get, um, you know, did you get Taylor Swift to sing me a song? You know, all that. You know, she doesn't like. Are you wearing like But I'm just saying. I don't. I, we'll see. I I don't know. I don't know what exactly what. Uh, I gotta get again. I gotta get a prom outfit together. You know, there's a lot of things because this just came out. But mm-hmm. tickets are on sale right now for it. You can go to www.hightensionhtw.com/shop to get those tickets, or you can find us on Eventbrite. You just go to our website, or uh, you can find the links on our social medias at high tension HTW. You can find the links to get the tickets there, all that kind of good stuff. Um, but that'll be Saturday, June 10th. It'll start at 4 PM. So it's an early prom too. If you don't like to uh, stay out way too late, um, you know, it's a nice early prom for us. So uh, uh, make sure you uh, get those tickets for June 10th for a wrestling prom. I've always wanted to have a wrestling prom. I'm not going to mm. lie. Mm. My prom, my, my proms were fine. You know, and I had, you know, I have my dates, but like, I think a wrestling prom is what we all really, really need. You know, isn't, I mean? it, isn't it though? Interests and all, interests mm-hmm. and all. That's all I need. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so yeah, we got the Enchantment Under the Sea prom coming at you June tenth 
at the Riverside Beneficial in Reading, Pennsylvania. Come on out to the prom that you always dreamed of and always wanted. Um, and like I said, you can find us on social media at High Tension HTW for more information. We'll start putting out um, little teasers here and there of who is invited to prom and who maybe who's not invited to prom because you know there's a, there's a list. There's a list of people that will will and will not be invited to prom. But everybody that buys a ticket will be on that list to come in. So, oh. and obviously, sweats. You have that special invitation to come to prom. Why? Thank you. As well. Why? Thank as, you. As always, you know. So I will. I will try my best to make my prom. Okay. Well, there you go. There you go. You you might have to work on a prom proposal too. You know I, I might. Mean? I might have to. <laughs> my, my, my prom proposal is going to be nasty. Oh my. <laughs> I don't know. This might be this. I don't know where we at right now, but I might be like some shit like. <laughs> Oh, you're gonna problem me, right? Oh, you're gonna problem me. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Scarring everybody for life. Individuals, right? Now. <laughs> Jeez, and Pete. It's that bird's eye view right there. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what do they call that shit on? <laughs> I don't remember what they call that shit. There's like a certain, you know, where they fucking like. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Joy. They call it jo oh, joy. Oh, gee, no. 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 Oh, Lord. Oh. Yeah, I guess, you know. The, the, Jesus. Oh, you're, gonna, you're probably going to have to DIY after that. Oh, um, shit. Doing it that way. Jesus. Uh, oh, will you go to prom, girl? Uh, just enjoy. You know? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, no. yeah. So anyway, those tickets are on sale. Make sure you grab yours so that you can be part of prom on Saturday, June the 10th. That's the big, exciting announcement that we got here from High Tension Wrestling in the HTW Network. All right. HTW and making it happen in here. Yeah. Um, check out the handles. We got that Maestro A. Scott. Mm -hmm. We got that Sweats E. Jacob Music over here. Yeah, check us out. And also at the Sweatshop Pod. At the Sweatshop Pod, baby. You already know what it is. Mm -hmm. You already know what it is. All right, y'all. Make I'm sure you like, subscribe, oh, all that yeah, kind of it. good stuff. Yeah. No, to, the, okay. to the HTW Network YouTube channel. Don't play make sure you like. Make sure you like the videos. Make sure you subscribe. We're going to keep coming out with the Sweat Shop. We're going to keep coming out with... Uh, some other stuff here, so stay tuned to the HCW Network for a lot more exciting content, wrestling, non-wrestling, all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, yeah, so we're shooting the shit over here, man. Yeah, having we're a good shooting. time, you know. Yeah. All right, y'all. I'm tired. Hey, hey. This time. Night, night. This time. All right. From me and the maestro, we are closing up shop.